Well, what's up guys and welcome to another episode of Bump and Feed. Today we're going to be discussing some WWE related stuff, and specifically just about the current state of WWE, the product, the superstars, kind of how it's acting, versus how it was maybe even a decade ago. Yeah, uh, it's come a long ways in the last 10 years for yeah, sure, and much less the last 20 years, but yeah, the last, even the last 5 years, yeah. it's night and day compared to what it was, and um, I think one of the main guys that can be credited for that is probably Daniel Bryan. Absolutely. Who has just returned recently, but I mean, yeah, he was in an uphill battle facing basically Goliath for a good <laughs> <Yeah>. while. <laughs> yeah. And now, I mean, WWE is almost like Ring of Honor or like an indie, like, yeah, for absolutely. the most part. I, th I think that's kind of the thing, too. It's crazy to see how the landscape has changed from, like you said, even five years ago, where some of the main key players aren't these giant... I mean, obviously you have your Roman Reigns and your what Brock is doing, um, right. but... A lot of the bigger named guys now are your smaller, your Sami Zayn's, your Seth Rollins's, mm -hmm. your Ambrose's, um, even guys like the Miz. I don't, I don't consider the Miz like a giant. I mean, because he's not. No, like, no, I don't consider him like the Goliaths of yesterday. So you've got a lot of variety now mm -hmm. with size. It's not about how muscular you are. Your talent can go a long way now, mm -hmm. which is foreign to WWE. Yeah, yeah. Today you can pretty much be a 150 pound guy and man have a possible chance where in the 80s and the 90s you didn't have a really a yeah. chance at all I mean you had your one-offs like a Sean Waltman you know a one two three kid and, and your Rey Mysterios which I mean WCW did a lot with the cruiserweights yeah but WWE is a specific it's night and day compared to what it was and today is pretty cool and I mean hell today we've got the cruiserweight division yep and I mean it's loaded with talent that you know over the last few years we've all went and watched locally somewhere so yeah it's just cool to see that um yep. But yeah, I think most praise would probably go to ultimately Daniel Bryan Ushering that in. for the current state of events. I mean, you have to maybe throw CM Punk in there too. Yeah, see, well, I've always said Punk, Punk leaving, and I'm not saying I want Punk gone or not. You know, I know that's a big thing, but like CM Punk leaving made stuff have to change right. for WrestleMania because of him pulling out. Yeah, which literally put us on the course that we're on right now. Pretty much, yeah. Like if, if CM Punk wouldn't have. You know, a lot of people see it in different lights, you know, whether he tucked his tail and ran or whether, you know, he left on his own accord. Either either way you look at it, I mean, he kind of got the ball rolling with leaving the way he did and, and kind of positioned Daniel Bryan into, into the forefront, into the world title yeah. picture. And, because it know. was supposed to be Punk versus Hunter, wasn't it? Yeah, that's, that was what they were leading that's, into. That's what they say, that uh, they were supposed to be, that's, that's what they offered CM Punk and he didn't want to do that. And everyone knows the... The CM Punk and Triple H backstage, backstage heat over the years, but but yeah, I mean, yeah. we we wouldn't be where we are today probably if CM Punk wouldn't have yeah. decided to be a UFC fighter. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> it's I funny because I even we used to joke about it because I remember um, I'm a big Fist fan. I love Gargano and yeah. Chuck Taylor, and I can remember talking to you years ago about I loved Gargano so much, and but I think both of us were kind of like. Just because of his height, right? I always said that he won't yeah. really make it. I, I never thought Johnny Wrestling would make it uh, on the big scale. I mean, I was totally and wrong. And he's put off two five star matches, yeah. in the last three months. His matches recently, I mean, not recently, they're always amazing, but yeah, particularly recently have been next level. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of that's for a lot of the backstage coaches and training in NXT to Absolutely. get him to the next level. But I mean, yeah, I've I've seen him live at a Shakara show. I've, I used to watch him at Dragon Gate USA shows, and I mean. He's the best. He's one of the best. He's improved so much. And not that he was ever bad at all, but, I mean, it's still, once again, I hate to use the phrase again, night and day with him. Like, yeah. he's, a, he's a different caliber wrestler that can, yeah. I don't know, he's going to be a superstar <laughs> is the bottom line. Again, like, if this was, even four or five years ago, he would not have come. Look how yeah. Callahan was. Right. You know. Yeah, he was in a weird little spot. He was kind of in the development era with... Before the boom kind of happened, yeah. like he was in a weird little, uh, in a weird spot, and I, hopefully he didn't hurt himself ultimately, and he could one day maybe come back. Yeah. And on the indies, he's, he's doing okay now. Yeah. On the he's indies and in Impact, he's killing it. I mean, he's one of the reasons I would actually want to watch Impact. So yeah, and, yeah, Sammy Callahan, he was in a weird spot in NXT there for a minute. Yeah, it was. But, I loved the stuff he was doing, the yeah. pro stuff and the yeah, the weird hacker gimmick where he would. I wish they'd give that a chance. Me too, man. They didn't give that hacker gimmick. Even the light of day, like that makes sense today, especially with the modern era mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Yeah, it would have fit. And uh, I thought, I think it was recorded on a cell phone, but there was one segment where like he was messing with the lights during a match or something mm -hmm. to hurt the opponent. I don't know, but they Could never even cool. yeah never even gave that a chance. Yeah, 
But I, I think, you know, if I had to let a guy like Callahan go, which sucks, mm -hmm. but if that was what opened the gate for getting Steen, Generico, some of those other guys, Gargano, yeah. it's kind of a fair trade. Yeah, so. that's true. And it can still make it back. You can never say never in wrestling. If there's one thing you you can Gosh, say, if Kurt Angle is on Raw, <laughs> yeah, you can like you can never say never. It's yeah. wrestling is the one thing where I've said it many times. I'm like that will never happen. This will never happen. This yeah. can't happen. And then it does. Oh, Jeff Jarrett. I mean, what? That's the that that actually may be the craziest. That's insane. Jarrett being there. I know, thought that was a kayfabe news story <laughs> for sure. Like, yeah. and then you, it was that's, legit. That's so. Wild. I don't know. Wrestling today is in a weird spot, in a good spot, in a really good spot. Yep. I mean, not even in WWE, just all over. Everywhere, yeah. Well, what I was going to say, too, is I don't want to sound like you're like we're not trying to like be smarky, because I know a lot of people still hate current, because it's you're the big dog. People, it's cool to hate, right. not Roman Reigns, the big dog. But when you're <laughs> WWE, I, I think the main roster is the best it's been I mean, it, it's, it has its ups and downs, right. but some of the stuff we're getting, the tag division being rebuilt, which is, it's kind of suffering on Raw and SmackDown, but still having tag teams mm -hmm. that It's been really good it's, it's been good. Yeah. The Miz's Intercontinental title reign was, was amazing. Yeah. I wish that he didn't lose it that one night, so he could have had that super long yeah. reign, but he held the title forever. Over 500 days. Yeah, yeah. Dude, like... It's crazy. It was a nutty reign. Um, he, he held that, and then... Uh, which the U.S. title is kind of bouncing around now. Which they're, it's like they were trying to get it a little bit over with Orton holding it, and yeah. then um, Ginger got it. it. Now Hardy's got it, so that's cool. I feel like they want to push Hardy too. So, so. Yeah, I do too. And, and Hardy became a Grand Slam champion, of course. And, and Hardy's money, so you can't yeah. really go wrong with Jeff Hardy. I mean, you can go wrong with Jeff Hardy. You can, but hopefully he keeps it yeah. on the rails for <laughs> this time. And then the other thing is um, the world title picture with AJ. Oh yeah, that is a never say that. Like that is, I was dude. There's no way you could have convinced me prior to his Royal no Rumble debut. If you're like, he's going to be in it, I'll be like, he'll be in it, it'll be cool, then he'll kind of float to the That's back. That's exactly what I thought would happen. I didn't even think he was going to be in that night, personally, but yeah, the, what we've actually gotten with him beating Cena numerous times. Clean. With him holding title numerous times, like, yeah. he is the guy. I, I mean, AJ Styles is probably, he's, I mean, you put Brock Lesnar in a little bit of a different pedestal, and you have to, even because of who he is, yeah. and he gets special treatment, and that's true, and pe people get mad at that, but, but he's Brock, he's money. Yeah. He, the wrestler of wrestlers in WWE is AJ Styles, he's unbelievable, I mean, we've always known that and said that, but even when I knew he was the man, I would have never been like, he's going to be the guy, yeah. he's going to be the Shawn Michaels of WWE, or he's going to be the Ric Flair, and I'm not even comparing to either of those guys, but the stature and the word of the current spot that he's in in WWE, he definitely relates to those, and yeah. And he's one of the best ever. I mean, he's one of the best he, ever. He I mean, he can't even not say that at this point. He's so fluid in some of the stuff that he's oh. done and working his way. He can work with anybody. He can. Whether you're Brock Lesnar or whether you're Nakamura or or, yeah. or whether you're whoever, the smallest guy on the roster currently, he could kill it with him. Yeah. So. I wish that he was a little bit older in 2001 when he came into WCW's Air Raid yeah. uh, with him and uh, Air Paris. Paris. Yeah. Um, I wish that he was a little bit older because I think if AJ Styles had even just a little bit of the clout that he has mm -hmm. now... I don't know, man. Maybe WCW could have, you know, WCW is my favorite. That's like '95 through about '98, like right when Nitro started. Stuff, that's yeah. like my favorite stuff because I was a kid. You know, it's probably a lot of nostalgia. But I, I, I like it over the Attitude Era. Yeah. Like from WWF, better. Um, but yeah, I, I wish to see what, or I wish I could have seen if AJ was a little bit older, if he could have maybe been that kind of leader for WCW for them. Ultimately, the company wanted them to close. Right. Yeah. Bischoff had ideas. Uh, they just. They didn't want it. But he could have been the next so, guy, for sure. I mean, and you see what happened once he did, you know, get rolling in TNA. It didn't take long. I mean, he won the NWA world title in 03, 04. Yeah. I mean, two years after the company started. Which doesn't say a lot. I mean, there wasn't a lot of people there. You either had Jeff Jarrett or AJ or, yeah. or whoever was, you know, in TNA. Joe didn't come until later, right? Like, yeah, Joe came out, I think, in 05. Oh, okay. So, early TNA was kind of weird, but AJ was the... Was the reason I watched. Like, oh, if there was a reason. I don't know if you remember these matches, but Jerry Lynn and AJ Styles matches from the oh, early 2000s. It. They would wrestle in TNA. There was like random promotions. There were, I remember this, this Australian promotion called WWA. They would wrestle on and they would have actual pay per views in America. And I would literally order those for Jerry Lynn versus AJ Styles. Jerry Lynn is the man. He's they had. One of my favorites. I mean. And that coming off the RVD and Jerry Lynn stuff from 99, 2000, jumping two years, three years later into 
AJ and Jerry Lynn. I mean, that's a lot for a Jerry yeah. Lynn, really. But also, uh, fun fact, side story: Jerry Lynn is one of the nicest dudes I've ever met. Yeah, Me and Stevie went to humble. Philly for um, what was that? Shane Douglas. Stream Rising. Stream Rising. Ran out of money. Talked to Jerry Lynn. He's like, oh man, I don't have any money. He's like, I'll still take a picture. I don't care. <laughs> he's yeah. just super. He cool. was really nice. He's always been cool. Um, yeah, he's one of the best ever. Really, yeah. he doesn't get enough credit. Absolutely, yeah, out so there too. at all. I think so too. Um, he, 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 he kind of pull it back to where we started from. Jerry Lynn today would probably do really well in the WWE currently. Absolutely. Whereas you know he had a stint in I think um, the mid nineties and ninety seven. He was in the light heavyweight tournament, I believe, and he did the JL stuff in WCW. And he never really caught on until he got to ECW, and he was in the land of misfits, so he could kind of get that push, and people were like, man, this guy's really awesome. Today, he, he would probably take right off. Yeah, I he, mean, I don't know I mean, I, I don't know if he would have been a world champion. Right. But... Like, he's not the best promo, but he God, gets so it done. Good, man. He gets yeah. it done in the ring, so... Absolutely, so... And he would have made it today, I don't know. I think one thing, um, just pull, you know, pulling it back to today is, with Roman, I know everybody hates him. And I get it, and I'm not saying I love or dislike him. One thing I think they should do, which I know this is supposed to be about current state of WWE and how, how awesome they are, you know, how good or not or whatever, but, man, if they would just do promos in the back with him, mm -hmm. I think he struggles. So, obviously, I'm not a promo. I never said I was, and so it's I guess it's kind of stupid for me to criticize. <laughs> but, dude, when I, some of the stuff that he's done in the back, right. you can tell, and I guess it's because he maybe just feels more comfortable, and I understand why you would mm -hmm. just let him do that. Yeah. If that's if that can help get him over being a decent promo in the back, who cares if he's out front speaking, know. man? Just let him do his little five minute segment in the back. Call it a day. Yeah. And then he, he had that killer promo, one killer promo in ring before the Brock stuff. Yeah, where he's just like really that good. kind of work shoot. Yeah, thing. he was kind of going into the yeah. the work stuff they were playing into the UFC. He might be not be might not be resigning and. And he wasn't, he's no showing the shows, which I'm sure it was a yeah. word, but it was good stuff. I literally watched that promo, and I came to, the next day I talked to Jonathan, I was like, man, you have to watch that. It was actually really good. So. What's funny to me about the work shoot is, uh, which I, obviously, and maybe we will, we could make an entire video on Vince Russo, but um, people say that Russo relied on it too much, Yeah. but then what's all the stuff that gets the biggest buzz today? That's true. Work shoots. Work shoots. Punk promo. Right. Um, Cena going off script. "Quote unquote" about The Rock mm -hmm. not showing shows. Right. Cena going off with um, Roman Reigns, telling him he needs to learn how to promo, right. and then Roman on Brock. Right. So it's like people hate Russo because he relied on the work shoots. But what's what's yeah. the most talked about stuff in wrestling over the last decade? That's true. Work that's shoots. Very true. So that's kind of interesting too. Yeah. I'm sure we'll, we will probably get into some Vince Russo at some point because he's got a. But the one thing about the work shoots though is he. That's about all he did at one point. That, I mean, so. yeah, so I understand both sides, yeah. like for sure, because that but, is basically all. It but was. usually, when I get super excited about wrestling today, it's usually some kind of, you know, they blur the lines of realism. Yeah. It's so much that I can't tell, and that's my favorite stuff. Or it's at least worked to where you can't like. To me, the best worked stuff recently is Gargano Champa. Yeah, that stuff was amazing. That stuff. And Probably like, the best storytelling dude, stuff. And, a minute, and like, you know that it's not, and actually there was a, a mishap. I think Stephanie McMahon posted it on her Instagram of her and somebody, and in the background Gargano was talking. To, so I, you know, but that stuff is some of the best stuff out there, period. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it had me believing, you know, and, and it was it was a I could suspend my, you know, belief in reality, and it didn't hurt anything, mm -hmm. you know, it, it was a suspension in, or, you know, in reality, and I wasn't ever brought back into it by saying, oh my god, this is happening, or oh, that clear, right. like, it felt real, mm -hmm. and that's cool. Yeah, when that happens, it's it's the best feeling, and, um, that's what I, I miss know. from kid, being kids. That is, that is, and that's usually what brings me back, like the Roman thing, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a regular weekly watcher of Monday Night Raw or SmackDown, yeah. uh, usually if there's something amazing on there, I will catch it online the next day. Um, you'll hear about it on Twitter usually. Um, I know yeah. I'd still watch all the pay-per-views. Yeah. Um, well, that's, the, that's the a, video packages have gotten so good. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't know who could. I know, I'm sure there's probably tons of people that do, but who could sit down and watch all of the hours of wrestling just from the WWE? Not in wrestling, just, just in WWE. WWE would be. It is impossible for me. Yeah. I mean, to be a, all SmackDown, 205 Live that comes on right after. Then they have the little Facebook NXT. tag. Mixed tag, mixed tag match which thing. Which is between SmackDown and 205. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not. It's stop. endless. Pay per views uh, every three weeks. <laughs> so <laughs> I think they're finally cutting back on those with the 
the, the, yeah. they're mixing the brands on pay-per-view anyway, yeah. so. Hopefully so. I don't so. know. There's no way I could watch it all, but, um, but today, ultimately, it's really good. <laughs> I, th I think so. It's easy to hate something, mm -hmm. but, like, if you really step back and look at where we've come from, just, even if, like I said, you, you said, five years. Yeah. Look at, go watch a Monday Night Raw from five years ago, or pay-per-view from five years ago, mm -hmm. and then look at today, and it's... We have a lot to be thankful for. We, we do as wrestling fans. Yeah, it's 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 we've come a long ways, and I'm glad we have because it's pretty exciting right now. Currently, not only in WWE, like you'll see in some more videos that we end up doing, we're going to cover basically everything, um, whether it's the lowest form of underground wrestling or, yep. or whether it's World Wrestling Entertainment, which is you know a publicly traded company. We're going to cover all of it. So yep. But ultimately, that is going to be it. We just want to talk about a little bit about WWE, give you a little bit of say because. Figured WWE for a nice first or so video because that's what everybody knows, mm -hmm. uh, and it would be kind of weird to do a first video on a promotion that five people will see. But <laughs> um, but you know, ultimately, that's my thoughts on. Also, I need to, I'm going to make a note to stop saying ultimately so much. But uh, <laughs> so right now, I would I would rate WWE uh, around a seven, seven, seven or eight, somewhere around in there. Um, yeah. I think is a fair rating. Yeah, I'd probably be about the same, probably about seven point five currently, yeah, honestly. So because they're they're producing quality content, good matches. The matches mm -hmm. are getting good. Um, match quality has definitely gone up. Um, At least once a month, there's always a couple must-see matches. So yeah, you can't beat absolutely. that. You can't beat that. You can't. Well, and I will say uh, to close the video, this will get a lot of hate. But I think, I think the reason New Japan gets as much credit as they do is because we're not as exposed to it. We don't see it every day. Right. And I'm not saying that takes anything away from New Japan because obviously they clearly know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But I think that when... Because the reason I started enjoying WWE so much more was because I don't watch it every single day. Right. I'll watch the pay-per-views, hit the high spots of the matches. That's me, actually, yeah. And it's made me enjoy it way more because I'm not as exposed yeah. to it. I almost feel like some people take it a little too seriously and they treat it like a job. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you're exactly right with New Japan because I probably wouldn't get through every... New Japan show and be yeah. like, this is amazing. Yeah, because so. and it's impossible for a wrestling promotion not to have crap. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's literally impossible. Yeah. I mean, you you have a team of writers or bookers or however you want to put it, coming out and chalking out content multiple times a week for yeah. a major company and, you know, once or twice a month for smaller companies, it's, it's a it's lot tough. of work. And for yeah. someone like WWE and their writers, I couldn't even imagine the stress on them. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, yeah. when we do get the crap, it's fun to make fun of. So. It is, so. <laughs> So let us know down below what you guys think. What uh, what do you like and dislike about WWE? I expect it personally to be heavier towards the dislike, and that's fine. I don't hate anybody's opinion. Especially on YouTube. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> well, let us know down below. And uh, if you have anything you want to see us discuss, feel free to leave that below. But if not, we've got a couple of topics lined up. So but thank you guys for watching. hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next video.